What's up, YouTube? It's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. Hope everybody's doing really, really well. It's Tuesday night for me. Got a lot going on. I literally just walked in the door from work. Uh, shipping out three snakes tomorrow. Two are sisters that are heading out to California. We're waiting for those temperatures to get down. I think he said it's like well over 100 every day there. But now we're, we're in the 80s, so we're doing okay. So they're going to ship out tomorrow. Also, I got a snake jumping in with one of Sal's shipments heading down to Virginia. So I got to get them all ready. Got to get some of these some of this stuff organized. Um, had some humidity issues this week. This oh, Over here in this rack, there is zero humidity issues. Uh, that rack, I actually got to drill holes. Uh, Sal started to do it right here, as you can see, because there's, there's actually no holes. Like the ARS 5540 rack where there's holes here. So I'm gonna have to go through and drill some holes because a lot of these tubs over here are reading like 80% humidity at all times. And it's nice and warm in there, so I'm not worried about it. Still like to control a little bit. Conversely, over here, we're getting too much airflow. Uh, I had a couple of really bad sheds. I'll show you one. Uh, my spider girl, spider clown girl, you see kind of, I, I clean it out as much as I can, guys. But we had a couple of bad sheds over here. So I started busting out. The sprayer over there that Rob from Racer Reptiles left last year to try to control this, try to combat this. And we're back up into the high 60s over here. So I'm gonna see how long it maintains that if I soak it you know, decently well, if it can maintain, if I have to soak it once a week, so forth and so on. I think the reason why that's happening is that I did unplug the AC. Actually, I can actually turn this thing off. No, no, it's on. I can unplug that thing completely. I'm not using it at all anymore. Still got my humidifier in here. And as you can see, we use no water today at all. I fill it up every day, which means I should have the humidity in check. That being said, guys, uh, Saturday's video, I'm probably going to take a look at the latest clutch I had. A lot of them are shutting out. As you see, that black pastel girl shut out. It's in the corner over there. So we're going to go over that on Saturday. Also, I'm going to stop by Eric's house, Big Eric. Over here near me, he's got some serious geckos, some really nice snakes, and a nice little ASF a lot of ASF colonies going on. We're also going to go past Sal's house. He had a whole new shed, uh, a whole new upgraded shed inside there for his rat facility, which if you haven't seen already, go to his channel. But I'm going to do a video anyway because I think it's that impressive. I'm headed to Jamaica next week for my birthday, so I'm going to try to get those videos lined up for you guys. Anyway, today's video is all about males. I made a couple videos. One was talking about females that I thought would be ready to go next year. We're kind of on the cusp. One was about females I know will be ready, will be breeding next year that you haven't seen yet. So I figured following along with the lines of that, considering our incubator is off, but I'm going to probably fire it back up again just to keep the temperature up in here a little bit, even though we are reading at like about 81 degrees in here. So we're actually kind of good. Anyway, um, season kind of over 2021, so we're looking forward to 2022. I figured why not talk about my males that are up and coming. Some of them have had locks this year. If you follow me on Instagram, blue underscore line underscore morphs. You've seen those locks, however, I had no offspring from them. So I want to do a video as a collective whole, talk about all my males, especially the ones that will be ready to breed uh, coming up this season. I'm looking for some, so they got to produce. Produce and get out of the way, you know what I mean? So let's let's start off, first and foremost, with my two boys. Um, I'm actually going to do another video talking about this guy, about upgrading your snake collection, what you should do, and if it's ethical. Baby's doing okay? No, no, no. Oh. So this is the first boy. Um, he's bred for me last year and this year. He's also my banana pied stud. Uh, he's real heavy. I think he's about 1,300 grams right now. But I just want to show him off real quick because he did produce for me this year, obviously. And then we're going to also show off. That's kind of adorable, right? Get back in there, bud. Watch yourself. Then we're going to show off this boy down here um, that produced for me also. Quite a few clutches. I think four or five clutches this year. That's my Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave Male. Absolutely gorgeous as I break my tubs. Um, but you, you guys seen these guys a bunch of times. Look how cool this guy is, right? My buddy uh, down there in North Carolina, Black, Lock, Black Rock Pythons. He just picked up his exact clone for me. Uh, definitely check him out. Anyway, this is two males that produced for me this year. Now I kind of want... Are you going to hiss now? I'm going to put you back. Now I want to talk about some of the males that I got in this collection here that I'm looking to see produce for me in this upcoming season. So let's start... Ah, uh, where the hell should we start? Let's start down here. I'm not sure if he shed. Uh, he was in deep shed yesterday. He may have shed. Maybe my humidity issues are being fixed. This guy right here I picked up from Joe from Empire State Exotics. This is kind of that mystery clown. Nah, it looks like he didn't really shed. He dropped the eye caps though. This is that mystery clown. He's been referred to as a keyhole clown, all types of things. We're not putting a name on it, but he is just a single gene clown animal. Well, he has a clown and whatever else is going on along here. So he's right now, he's probably about a year old, give or take. And he's been eating pretty well. So we're weighing in at 741 grams. Um, I'm going to start pairing him up probably in this upcoming season. I think he's definitely ready to go. So I look forward to proving out this gene in the clowns. Maybe 
I'll give you a little spoiler. Probably gonna go to my homegirl right here, Harlem, who's a beast right now. She's about 14 months old, and I think she's like 1,400 grams. But he's definitely getting a rotation next year, so I'm looking forward to getting him to work. Um, definitely up to size, looking good. We definitely, Joe and I, definitely want to see what's up with this gene. We're definitely gonna, we're gonna see what happens with it. Okay, we're definitely gonna check it. Out. I got some ideas for him. Who else he's gonna go with? But we'll talk about that in another video. Content, content, content. All right, let's move on to. We'll do the two clown boys up here. This boy right here, where is he? There he is. He's another snake that I picked up from Joe from Empire State Exotic. He's actually the, the brother to my beautiful bat girl right here that's chilling. If you look, the central push is actually over there in the corner right there. That's how I'm monitoring it. These two are brothers and sisters, though. Isn't that cool? Maybe one day they'll uh, fornicate. We'll see what happens. But yeah, anyway, this is definitely, we know what this is, right? It's a Batman. This is what it is. Batman female, looking good. She was a beast eater, but now she's kind of being a jerk. No big deal. All right, so this boy right here, he's her age, I believe, just about a year old, maybe about 10 months old, give or take. He's weighing it. Okay, what the hell just happened here? He's going to be a jerk. Last I weighed him, he was about 700 grams, uh, give or take, about 650 grams. He is absolutely uh, pastel butter, uh, we believe red stripe, leopard clown, possible het pied. He's got some nice ringers right there if you look on either side. Um, he hasn't produced any babies for me yet. However, he has locked with a couple girls. I'll show them to you in a second. But I'm looking forward to proving out, uh, first and foremost, what's in him. Because it's possible spot nose too. Uh, but it's so convoluted with the red stripe and the pastel and the butter together. You kind of lose a lot of it. Um, you can't even see any head pattern on him. He's moving around like a son of a bitch. I really wish he would stop. But this boy right here, we're definitely looking forward to uh, producing some offspring. So I did pair him uh, over here, you guys have probably heard this a million times. We did pair him with this girl right here, who's uh, a normal head clown, possible head pied. Looking forward to proving out if he is head pied. That'll be huge for me. I'd really enjoy that, obviously. And I also paired him with this big old mon. Oh, good, you bull wrapping. This big old normal pied. So once again, if you guys don't know that what I'm trying to do there is just kind of prove out what's in him because we want to prove out that he's head pied. We also want to make sure he's definitely red stripe. We want to see if any spot nose is hidden there too. I don't think so. I think he's a pastel butter red stripe clown, Leo clown, possible head pied. With those ringers I showed you before, I definitely think he's head, uh, head pied. So this upcoming season, 2022, these two girls might go uh, for this 2021 season, but I'm thinking it's going to be a 2022 thing. Um, really looking forward to proving out what's in him and proving out if he's head pied. And then, of course, if this girl right here proves out that she's head pied also, then maybe, just maybe, we might hit some nice, maybe red stripe leopard uh, clown pie. That'd be absolutely phenomenal. I definitely want to get him breeding as soon as possible. We'll at least get some eggs from him. The other boy right here that we got in the mix is a snake I picked up from my good, good buddy at Redline Pythons, okay? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, he is a pastel Enchi Blade Leopard Clown stud. He's absolutely gorgeous. Um, he's... My scale's broken. Focus. Why is that hold? Stop. Hold. Huh. All right. He's absolutely gorgeous, guys. Um, he's, I believe, a September baby. So he's about a year old now. Uh, he's been eating pretty well. Uh, he's real stiff on me right now, so I kind of want to see what he weighs. Uh, a quick guesstimate is... Zero. Take that off. So, 775 grams, give or take. He's about a year old. Whoa, to be honest with you, uh, I don't know what I'm doing with him yet. We're going to talk about that. He has locked with my super Russo girl down here. I would love to make some nice hats with him. I'll get that Russo gene involved in my clown projects. But he's another up-and-coming male that I'm really looking forward to getting in the mix and getting some babies out of him. He's absolutely gorgeous at 775 grams. He still looks absolutely stunning. There was spot nose in this... Um, this pairing, so sometimes I get a little excited. Check that out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I just think he's a pastel entry blade leopard clown, but I don't know. I think I got real lucky. I doubt it, but we'll find out either way. But we'll definitely look forward to getting him producing some eggs for me. Now, last but not least, my boy, my stud, who had a bad shed like I was talking about, guys. So he's going to get soaked right after this video. He's my absolute powerhouse. He's about a year old now, and unfortunately, um, like I said, he had that bad shed, but I'm going to keep this thing moving. He is my orange dream, yellow belly, pastel, fire leopard, pied from Ozzy Boyd. He's 611 grams. Um, he is an absolute beast uh, powerhouse genetically. Probably one of my most expensive snakes I have in my collection. He's going to take off like a bat out of hell now. 
Um, but he's over a year old now. I believe he's a June of 2020 baby. And he's looking absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he did come up food for me for about... Wait, he loves to move around. He did... Oh... No, he did come off of food with me for about eight months. I did a video on that. We got him back on food. He put on some nice sides. There goes right back in his hide. He's going to get soaked in two seconds. Probably should have soaked him before the video, but you know how he go. Anyway, he's actually locked with this girl right here. This passed out clown pie girl. Um, she's looking real thick, really, really nice. I'm happy and excited about that. They might, she might go this year. Then I got this thrilling lesser clown that's been bull wrapping like a son of a bitch. So those are... Oh, those are some of my males, guys. Obviously, two first males I bred this year. They're looking good. Um, they gave me babies this year. The other four I just showed off to you are definitely getting involved in the plants coming up for this season. They're all to size. Some of them have locked with some other females. We've got no eggs out of them. But coming to the 2022 season, I'm definitely looking forward to getting their genetics and trying to improve some of these projects, guys. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Looking forward to 2022 season, even though this season might not be done. So that's it for the video, guys. I'm going to soak this guy, soak a couple other guys from these bad sheds. Hopefully the humidity issue is solved. It's 62% out here. And it's, that says 70%. That thing's a hunk of shit. So I don't even know if that thing's accurate. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Be safe. Please remember, watch your six.